Welcome back to the series where we change the element of characters from Genshin Impact. The way it works is we have two wheels, one with all the characters and one with all the elements. We spin the first wheel, get a character, spin the second wheel, get an element, then combine those two together and see what it looks like. Let's get started. It's been a little bit since we did one of these, but I know that there are a lot of you who do enjoy these, so I'm going to keep making them even if they do get a little bit less views, but hey, they're still fun and we're going to be starting out this time with Ka-Ching. All right. Now, in terms of what element I'd like to have for Kaching, I always just enjoy Hydro. Pyro might be interesting. I don't really want to do Geo, but it looks like we're going to be doing Cryo. Okay, I, I can work with that. If you don't really like explanations, then you're in luck, because I don't have too much to say here. I very obviously just went for the blues that represent cryo, kind of lighter blues mixed in with some white. As you can see, I made the hair white. I was originally going to cover up a lot of the golds with a very vibrant light blue, and then I opted to just instead add even more gold because I just really liked how it looked. The only issue I did run into was I felt there was too much lightness and too many bright blues, so I added in some darker blues as well as some blacks, and I do like the contrast that it creates. I'm also just going to throw in the before and after so that you can actually see the changes I made. I don't know why I haven't done this before, but it's a lot easier to do this rather than you having to try and remember exactly what the character looks like. With Kaching now out of the way, we can give the wheel another spin and get another character, since that is how the wheel works and uh child okay that'll be interesting do i always say that i feel like i do so what element do i want to turn child into i feel like pyro would be kind of hard because he already has a lot of orange and red in the design but it looks like i'm gonna have to figure it out
so I think it's pretty obvious here. I went for a lot of colors that represent fire being red, orange, and yellow, and then I incorporated some kind of darker brown for the hair. I, I'm still not sold on this hair color, but I tried a bunch of different ones, and it was the one that I didn't hate the most. Then I also threw in some more dark red highlights around the outfit, even emphasizing one part of the shirt where it kind of looks like a flame already, and I just kind of brought that out. Obviously changed the vision, and overall just kind of made him look pyro, since that's what I had to do. Oh, and I did add a lot of gold highlights because I don't know, for some reason gold highlights always look good on these characters. Overall, I think it's safe to say I didn't take too many liberties in terms of trying to incorporate other colors, but I don't feel like I necessarily needed to here. Tartaglia's outfit already has a lot of grays in it, so instead of trying to change those colors and just really making him overly saturated, I just decided to darken up those colors instead. Then with Kaching, I opted to also incorporate incorporate some darker colors to break up the lighter colors from cryo like I mentioned earlier. Other than a couple things here and there that I feel could be improved a little bit, but I'm still not sure exactly how I would do it because I can't find a better color at this moment, but I am pretty happy with how both of these turned out and I hope that you like them too. Let me know down in the comments which of these two you'd prefer to have more in game, Cryo Kaching or Pyro Tartaglia. And as always, I will see you guys next time.